Good afternoon, and thank you all for being here today with all of us. Uh, please forgive me if I fumble or I have a wavering voice. Um, I'm very nervous, and I guess I'm very much overwhelmed with this feeling, and it's it's just unexplainable. I can't even put into words how grateful I am to be appointed as a UNICEF national ambassador. Thank you so much, Lota, for this recognition awesome. and for making me, um, I mean, I know I've been part of the UNICEF family, of course, as Lota mentioned earlier, since 2009, as an avid supporter, and then officially becoming a celebrity advocate for children in 2014. And I guess it's because I've always just had a heart to want to help those who don't have a voice or <laughs> those who may be too young to use their own. And back then, I didn't know how or where to start. All I knew was that I wanted to make a difference in children's lives. And that's what led me to UNICEF and meeting all of these amazing people who dedicate so much time and love into helping the children of the Philippines. And this is also why I'm standing in front of you today. Working with UNICEF has further opened my eyes to issues involving children, as early as their first 1,000 days up to their adolescent years. In 2015, as you saw in the videos, I did my very first field visit in Tacloban and, and in Bobon in Northern Samar. And I actually got to experience firsthand how UNICEF is helping families with their various different programs. You know, I, I got to meet mothers and babies, and I got to speak with them and learn how they're being helped with proper immunization and learn how they are being aided to overcome malnutrition. I also learned about the importance of sanitation and proper hygiene in different communities, and how sadly there are still some families who don't have access to clean water and toilets in our country. These are just a few examples of all the challenges that they face, and I know that there is so, still so much more that needs to be conquered. And each day that passes, I learn more about the growing issues that children are facing today. After having done work with young children, this year, I am determined to work more with those who are on their way to adulthood. As you may know, I've been speaking about the debate on lowering the age of criminal responsibility. I was alarmed by this issue, and that's what prompted me to speak from my heart out of genuine concern for the children. And in my discussions with UNICEF, I've learned that if the current laws are to be fully implemented, there would be no real need to lower the age. But I also feel that with children, and I believe that you can't just focus on one issue. There is still so much that should be done. And just like with any difficulties facing our nation, everything is intertwined, like a tightly knit piece of fabric, making it hard to find one solution to a particular concern. Instead of focusing on short-term results, we need to approach these matters from many different angles to attempt to progressively solve problems. That is why with this appointment, I will continue to learn and to properly educate myself so that I can use my voice and my platform together with my UNICEF family to weave a brighter future for the Filipino children. And I know that we don't stand alone in this because I know that deep down inside of all of us, we are all hoping that every child will grow up to be safe, they will grow up to be healthy, they will be given an opportunity to go to school 
so they can reach their full potential in life. And every child, no matter who or where they are from, they deserve to have basic rights just like you and I. And I hope and I pray that we can all do our part in ensuring that our country is not only a safe place, but to also foster a culture where we recognize these children as the bright future that we all need. So I hope that we can all, all of us, work together so that the smiles on these beautiful children's faces reflect the hopes that they carry in their hearts. Thank you very much.